Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at me. Look at I'm me. Look at me. You I'm see how fast I'm moving? I'm I'm in the setting. How you get it to set block? The oh, I just, I just close the app. Oh. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh shit. Give people time to jump on. my own but I got the ghost in the background on my own there you go I'm just gonna give people some time to jump on before I get this thing rocking you know it's Friday night <clears throat> and uh, people kids don't like to go to sleep on Friday night but I love the damn speed on this goddamn thing. Oh, I feel so so good. Like you look like you like you you see yourself moving how you yeah. feel yourself moving. Yeah. Because before I'd be like like this and then four minutes later, that's when I do it. We don't went to the next topic and everything and people wonder why you laughing mm-hmm. and we talking about zombies. Yeah. <laughs> we would talk about a, a, a murder case. And yeah, laughing hard too. I'm like, damn, man, that nigga just hit you with the jail for murder. For real. Hmm? It, it got, oh, wait, it got a PT keypad? What? On it. The keyboard got a 10 keypad on it. A 10 keypad? What that mean? The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, 7. Oh, what's it called? 10 keypad. A 10? Yeah. Because it goes up to 10. Well, it stops at 9. But why they call it a 10 keypad if it starts know, at? Because it got like 15 keys on it. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Do you use that? I do. You it be kind of right scat- 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 Yeah, it's right here. Oh, shit. I want one. They got blue. They got blue. They got a. <laughs> they got a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Leave me alone. They got a purple one up there, too. No, no, thank you. Oh, you don't deal with the. Okay. No. No purple stuff. Tell Yeah, right at that old national uh, pawn shop up there by Walmart. Oh, yeah, just cash up me the money. And then. You got an iPhone. You got an iPhone, right? No, I don't. Damn, you draw it out. You got WhatsApp? You got WhatsApp? You got duo? Yeah, you got that Google shit. What's up, everybody, man? Jumping on. I'm just giving people time to, to log on. They got their kids and shit they got to put up. We're just vibing right now. We're just vibing. Yeah, like they, yeah, like they dogs. Yeah, put them in the cage. Like, kennel. You got to say kennel. And them kids got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to give them they, you got to give them they gummies, though. The, the melatonin gummies. No more than two, though. I try to get my like strong four one night. I was looking at my kids just like this the whole night. Like, you better keep breathing. You better keep breathing. You better keep breathing. Cause as soon as you give them too much, they oh shit! You gotta call the cops and everything. I, I will hope you call the ambulance first. What you mean? <laughs> nah, you know we we call our aunties. Well, auntie, I don't know. I gave them seven minutes, but nigga, why you calling me, nigga? Why you calling me? Nigga, call the ambulance. You calling me? No kids could be dead. My don't tell, but like, let me come over there and see what's going on. Yeah. Because <laughs> they don't believe you. You don't know what you're doing. Let me go over there. Let me go see. It's about 80. I'll be over there about 30 minutes. Kids been dead 45 minutes. Wait, 
Wait, no. Wait, no. <laughs> it could have been, been saved. I'm trying to keep you out of jail. On <laughs> a ventilator, you know what I'm saying? Something. Nah, them kids been dead. Four to five minutes ago. Hmm. There are different thieves. Things? Oh, things to um to uh, yeah to make a person conscious. Or to see if they. Oh, if they. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, uh, everybody out there call the ambulance first though. Don't don't be like us. You know, black people don't call the ambulance first. We gotta call. We gotta go across the street. Hey, you know anything about this? Nigga, this child in there just dead. We got to. Yeah. Ah, sh what's going on? Let me, let me call my mama about this. Child just dead for two hours because we asking. Mama can bring them back now. Mama can bring them back yeah. life. Cool. Now, I say give them some rope testing. Yeah. Give them some rope testing. Some rope testing. That tussing. Mm -hmm. yeah, that what's up, Guzman? Mm-hmm. We're just waiting on some people to jump on, man. Hey, I'm going to hit up people locally here first, Guzman, because you were over there in um, Alaska and shit. You, you four hours. So. Oh. It's getting late over here, so I'm gonna hit them guys up. Then I'll start hitting up my niggas on the west coast. Um, they punking out though. Everybody here punking out. Huh? They wanted to. They, you know, people talking shit. I, I'll call in. I'll call in, motherfucker. I'll fucking call in. Oh, Guzman. Goose, I'm pretty sure Goose got a picture of a moose somewhere. I want a fresh one. <laughs> right now, you want okay, so you want Goose to get go in his car right now, yeah. ride around Alaska. Hopefully, standing next to something like a vehicle, so it reminds me right. of how massive they are. I call you last, man. I call you last. Thank you, bro. But uh, so my co-host, the Ghost, wants you to go out right now, find a fresh goose walking around in, in them streets in Alaska, and send me the picture. Okay. All right. We're going to get this thing started. No, we got two minutes. We're going to wait two minutes. We're still we're good. We're good. We're going to wait two minutes. Everybody doing out there in podcast land, man. It's just me and the ghost tonight. DJ VI could not make it. He also got a gig tomorrow. So, you know. You know over there He don't do none of that either This much I know that DJ V.I. don't be He don't do none of that shit He just played the next song That's all he do Like he don't do no scratching It worked for him He, some, he might hit some buttons You know You might hear this shit it, it, It's that's DJ V.I. Oh shit And that's it He just let the shit play after that <laughs> Nah shout out to V.I. though The digital The digital DJ Mm 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 Ah, excuse me, bro. Let's start the show. Hello, everybody, podcast land. I'm your host, Sue Forever. Welcome back to the MID Podcast Show. DJ VR is not here today. It, it, it's DJ VR. Talking about the best rapid money earning, mouth burning. Relax and take notes. But I'm in this Sounds bitch. Like also. And I got the ghosts. It's just me and the ghosts tonight, y'all. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> no, I'm she just, she just over there. <laughs> it, you know, yeah, she don't know what to do with her hands. She got one hand like this, one hand like this. Like she don't know what she just did with hands. There's <laughs> some tequila over here. You want to? 
fuck with the tequila? No. Oh. No. I'm a good wholesome girl. Good. Okay. Okay. That's right. You don't do no wrong, girl. You don't do no wrong. Good wholesome girl. Drinking water with lemon and lime. But check this out. Check this out. What's up, Sin? Hey, Sin. Good. Shay Love. Uh. All right. Shay Love. That's still our home girl. She's still in my D, but Shay Love has relocated down to Myrtle Beach months ago. All right. Um she went down there for a job opportunity. You know that you know saying she gotta go get that bread. And um you know. Shay Love's always gonna be in my D. Anytime she comes to Fayetteville, she always got a a chair on this show. So and she'll probably jump on here in a little bit. Um who sounded like a hater? What'd I do? I don't know. But anyway, to ask, that's to answer your question, Sin. But thank you for everybody for joining on. Y'all probably put your kids to sleep. Everybody that's joining on, they all on the West Coast. That's crazy. All y'all in the same damn state talking to me right now, which is kind of odd. Well, Cali and Alaska, we're on the same coast. Yeah, I say that. Same coast. Um, the sun's still up over there. I don't know. <laughs> everybody over here trying to go to sleep. Um, and then everybody that I was supposed to call locally, they punking out. Why are the people scared to talk on this show? I mean, if your face not even there, like me, mm -hmm. I, I don't, yeah. Can't nobody come shoot me up because they don't know it's me. Because <laughs> <No. laughs> they don't know it's me. Yeah. You got, you done? Uh, Oh, cause you was thinking real. I don't know where you just went. I don't know where you just went, nigga. <laughs> I'm waiting on you to talk. You got your mouth open, your eyes in the sky, and I'm like, you good? You good? Like, what we doing here? Are you? Uh huh. The lighter to the fire. To the um, the sprinkler. Yeah, the sprinkler system. Well, no, because if it melts, that means the sprinkler goes off. I, I need to see it in real life. Oh. I think they be making shit up in the movie. I need somebody to prove this. Well, how do you think it works? That's why I need somebody to prove it to me. So I know, I don't know how it works. I, I don't know. <laughs> I so, I, I mean, I could tell you how it works. But I mean, I don't, I don't but, but that. That, but that's the old I mean that, you know that's that's the old sprinkler system but you know the new ones they just sense the heat period it's, and it just goes off oh we're not finna get into that I know there's one in here we're not finna get deep into that and I know that's where you got lost at up there no okay so how you been how you been ghost how you been hey every time we talk we go on five different uh Five different subjects, yeah. we and we we trying to get through one story that we end up we, we end up in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We end up we end up in space somewhere you. talking. How you been? How you been? What's been going on with you? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I got you. I got you. Yeah. But you know, I'm cool, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you know, in April I I put in my retirement. You know, packet. I'm gonna say that. You're retired. What you mean? Not really. I still be working, which I hate, but. I do. You done been on vacation since. No, I'm not been. I've been it. I just get off at it. I get off before y'all, so y'all think I've been on vacation. You ain't never went in. What you talking? I go in every morning at six thirty in the morning. You don't believe? You okay, don't. Tommy. I ain't got no job, man. <laughs> all right, people that's joining in. People that's joining in. Okay, all right, so. My lips a little dry. That's why I'm fucking stumbling on my goddamn words. But okay, let's get to the first subject. Let's get to the first subject. Okay. Um, how you think? How you, hey, Eli, to just hopped on. That's Texas right there. Since everybody on right now, so how y'all think Drake felt? How do y'all think Drake felt with that that cockroach got <laughs> got Rihanna pregnant? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. Wait, let me say one Okay, thing. go ahead. You wanna know who he, when you said cockroach, I'm like, that ain't right, but you wanna know who he do remind me of? Who? Susie Carmichael Brothers. Oh, Broadway. Lord Jesus. Can it be Stevie Carmichael? Okay, that was yeah. it. I, okay. 
No, no, I see. So I, this is my thing. Me, me as Drake. I'm Drake, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Champagne. Poppy. I'm Champagne Poppy. On on IG, that's my that's that's my handle on IG. Champagne Poppy. Like I'm Drake. I can sing, rap, act. Now you mean to tell me you gonna choose that nigga that? First of all, you chose that nigga for one, just for anything. I don't care if you chose that nigga to go go to McDonald's up the street. You chose that nigga over me to fucking do whatever. And then you chose that nigga to have a child? I didn't think, I didn't think, I didn't think nobody was ever going to plant seeds into a child's mind. Like, but, I thought, but that's how y'all women do, man. It be the most whoa, whoa, unexpected. Whoa, whoa, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It be the most unexpected nigga. Like this nigga. This. Okay, some. Not all. Some. I see it every day. Like you gonna let this nigga do it? Like you know what I'm saying? Like what happened? Women do that. Some women do that all the time. Why are y'all like this? Mm. In my humble opinion, who ASAP Rocky? He he putting in there work 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 work. Look, I I, I see ASAP. He got a little he got a little smoothness to him, but maybe but maybe I think Drake is too big of a star, and Re, Re, and, and Rihanna just don't want to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But the prince of Zamunda. Yeah, the Zamunda. it's no way. Uh, for for me being Drake, I just feel disrespected just because I'm Drake. That's it. Yeah. I'm not famous now. I'm, I'm. I feel like that. You know what I'm saying? If if a girl is to mess with, fuck with another nigga. Like, how dare you? How dare you fuck with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cocky and I'm broke. This is Drake we talking about. You just talked about spending five thousand dollars on that laptop. Hey, hold on, no, no. spent five thousand. They spent five thousand on that laptop. It was investment. But as Drake, I'm like, damn, you really gonna? And then, and then he another rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just playing the game with me right at this point. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he's a, he's just another. Rapper. But he ain't rap. He ain't rapped in ten years yeah, though. He got two. He got three albums. He do. He do. Mm-hmm. I love that bitch. That my fucking problem. You know who? You know you know who on that song? Boy. And who else? And I know Titty Boy on it, but who else though? Nobody else. Drake is on. The, uh, the, ooh, are you? Hold on. This is the fourth episode you on brought up this nigga Titty Boy. Like is that guy. your thing? Is that I your like crush? It. I like it. Nah, nah, he ain't even close. Oh, okay. I, you like s- it. I crush it on his name now. Cause see, you doing you doing that Rihanna it shit? Rolled off. It just rolled off Titty Boy. Oh, okay. So you just like his music? Nah, I just like his name. His name. Oh, you just like his. name. I thought you was doing that Rihanna shit. I just said, y'all women be doing that shit. It's the most unexpected person. I don't introduce you to my mom. Hey, mom. This is what I was telling you about. It's Titty. Titty boy. I can't. Look, if I brought him to my ass, I can hear them now. So, like, what, what he be doing to him? Though? Like, how do you get mm. that thing? My aunt's going to have questions. He can't go around them. All right. Well, I did say that about your baby daddy's uh, sin. But it was true shit though. I don't care. <laughs> nah, but um, but for real though, Rihanna. We talking about Rihanna. Damn near a billionaire, right? You sure she not billionaire? She I got can't she. Say that shit. You know I ain't gonna never get to that. Stuff. Yeah. What's up, K. Ru? K. Ru, we talking about how you think Drake? Cause you a light skinned ass nigga. How you think Drake felt <laughs> when he heard ASAP Rocky got Rihanna pregnant? Hey, y'all can call in. Y'all can call in, man. I'll put the number in the thing. Rocky. That's how I picture that happened. What? He, he pulled a soldier boy. Rocky. <laughs> I would have did that shit. But th- just Drake being Drake, I would have felt like I feel disrespectful for one because you, you got a rapper that's beneath me to impregnate your ass. Like you, and he's broke. You reproducing. Yeah, you pre- you, 
mean, like I said, he he might he got to be putting in that work in his person. He keep her laughing. He got to keep her laughing. Drake had to be hurt because I was hurt, nigga. <laughs> And I didn't even, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't nowhere near their their breath over there. I was like, damn, Drake, I'm hurt, nigga. How dare she gonna mess with this roach? I him a roach. He is a roach. You see that nigga? I him a roach. Oh, yeah, that nigga's a roach. He is Stevie Carmichael. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Well, and, oh, my sister said he, he just a 10 millionaire. <laughs> Come on. Well, rewind. Say that to yeah, he can lose that. He can lose that ten million. And look, you think they gonna have What? I was gonna say a pre but they not get married. At least not yet. What if they got married? It's coming. Yeah, you think they gonna get married? Gonna have him he gonna yeah, have him I'm gonna have him murder. It's no <laughs> way fucking Rihanna. You're not marrying that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Give me something. Green Give me Give me the give me uh the the Prince of London or something. I don't know, nigga. Give me something other than ASAP Rock because y'all get them them ugly niggas like that. Like, he, he, like he just, I mean, what? I mean, if y'all want to comment on the on the on the topic, y'all can call in right now. He just like no offense to anybody named. He like Junebug right down the street. He got he an average looking at yeah he an average ass nigga. He Junebug down the street. <laughs> He junior, you know what I'm saying? It's a junior in every hood. Hey, who, who that junior? Oh, Jr. They call him Jr. They don't call him Junior till you get old. But old oh, Jr. Look at old Jr. Yeah, a little Junebug son. A little Boom, little Junebug son. He's so bad. They don't even know his goddamn name. But that's Junebug son. They do. <laughs> that's him. That's him. Look just like Junebug. Who? Junebug son. Yeah, but you can you can lose that ten million though. Yeah. I mean, I get it. You know, I mean, you know, that's his network though. But at the end of the day, you can lose that ten million though. Cause I mean, compared to what her her accounts are looking like, he just a regular average. He did. So that's what I'm saying though. If you was Drake, damn near billionaire. He don't make love songs about this girl. Multiple videos. Did she, did she reject him on stage? On stage. Damn. But you know what though? The nice guys always finish last. Drake ain't a motherfucking nice guy. Drake, you know what? You hmm. know how we were talking about like Drake and Rihanna and Drake and Rihanna and Drake and Rihanna. Drake and Rihanna and Drake. He might be me on a little. I got what you're saying. Like he, like, I, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I got what you're saying. Like he sweet, boom, boom, but, but behind the scene, shit. I'm full of shit. I got it. Okay. That's why Drake is my idol. I put that it respectfully. I'll take that. Respect. I, I know, I know, like, you wanted to, you look me in my eyes, like, he, see, he kind of, like, I got you. Respectfully, I will take that. I got you. I got you. I'm pretty sure all the girls be like, that nigga ain't shit. Don't let that nigga fool you. But, yeah, I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying. I, I, I got what you're saying. But what you, but maybe, but, you know, Asap Rocky, he just kind of just out with his shit. I guess y'all just respect that more. That's what I think. Y'all who respect? No, I'm just saying in general. I'm just saying in general. Like women respect a nigga, just be like, you know, yeah, nigga. I don't know. Because I think Asap be fucking with niggas too, though. You had a big orgy on top of the project building in Brooklyn. I mean, I don't know nothing about them. Hmm. My sister said he ain't ugly. Okay, you know, we are, you know, I know, I grew up with you, so I already know the niggas you be fucking with. <sighs> My sister love them street niggas. I mean, she grown now, but growing up, she love them street niggas. <laughs> that June, yeah. My sister love Junebug's son, though. That's his name. That is his name. First name, Junebug. Last name, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. He get mad too. It's Gerald. No, nigga. I'm not finna call you Gerald, nigga. You are a June bug son. <sighs> this program is about unsolved mysteries. Whenever possible, it's a mystery the to me. Family members and police officials have participated in recreating the events. 
what you're about to see. Because I'm a Drake fanatic. Like, Drake is my nigga. Like, that's my... Him and Jay-Z. And, and, like, so it's three niggas. Him, Jay-Z, and then my down self, my T.I. Well, you want to know who ain't rooting for him? Hmm. Riri, Lil' Bug, in the oven. Who? Oh, yeah. Not rooting for him. And she got stomach out, too. Like, I she never, a strong six months pregnant. I never thought I would see her. Well, pregnant? Yeah. No, I thought I'd see her pregnant, but not by... You know what I thought Riri was gonna do? Like what Eve did, go go to Australia and marry a fucking billionaire somewhere. You don't even think you don't forgot Eve was from Philly, was a stripper. I love me some Eve. Oh, I love me some Eve now. Don't, I don't get it. You wanted the pause on the chair. You with the pause on the? I thought that was creative. Mm-mm. But I admired it on her though. Mm-hmm. I admired it on you Oh, I love me some Eve. Yeah. <laughs> oh man Hey man if y'all want to call in man I'm about to start calling people How about that I'm going to call K. Ruth ass But thank you everybody for joining in though I like when y'all like interact with me And stuff like that V.I. couldn't make it today He's still uh, working and shit But he does have a gig tomorrow Um, He hosting all I think it was the Black and Leather event at um Enzo, whatever, at his car club. Uh, but shout out to uh, DJ VI, those of y'all that's accent. And uh, let's continue on to the next subject. Okay. Nick Cannon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Nick Cannon had his 13th child out here in these streets. <laughs> nah, I think it's the eight. I think it's the eight. But he would have had nine or something like that, right? All right, so the main question to everybody in podcast land, <clears throat> and it, I see, like, a lot of women are jumping on. You know, I got Sin, I got my sister on here, and I got some dudes on here. So, okay, let's, let's ask this question. Let's ask this question, right? Um, now, we all know what Nick Cannon is doing. I don't think Nick Cannon is doing anything wrong. I think he has agreements with these women, and it's the, it, that's the right way to do it. It's an honest situation. I think that him battling with his illness and stuff like that. I think he just want to leave his seeds out here. He don't he don't have to have it from the same woman. If they have an agreement to uh to bear a child together, that's the agreement, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what I don't I don't think what Nick Cannon doing is wrong with having multiple kids or multiple women. You know, it doesn't really matter to me. And he can take care of them. Now, uh uh <clears throat> what's his name? Junebug son? Junebug. Now, Junebug son that work at KFC up the street, he having the same amount of kids. Oh, we're gonna get on that. We're gonna get on that because you had it real quick, real quick. I think KFC, I think KFC, low key the best chicken restaurant. I think we just been programmed to go Popeyes and Bojangles and shit. But KFC, the original recipe, go to KFC, go to KFC. That, I bet you fuck that shit up. That shit's fucking delicious. Oh, I've been. Mean, I mean, you going too deep, but you, you can't go that deep and go to the Waffle House. You know what I'm saying? Waffle House for shit. You can't. Uh, I will go to Walmart and give me a lunchable. I- <sighs> we'll go back to that. Um, but I don't think when Nick can. There's no damn. You ain't gonna disrespect fucking Waffle House, okay? Anyway, I don't think when Nick Cannon doing this wrong, right? If y'all think what Nick Cannon's doing is wrong, you know y'all y'all can put it in the comment section or y'all can call me. But at the end of the day, I think that he's doing. He's doing it the right way. I think, like, okay, I got money. I don't want to settle down with one female, but if I have, if if I if I share a vibe with a female, I think she's gonna be an outstanding mother. She fucks with me. I fuck with her. We could be co-parents, and she want to want to want to see because a lot of women just want the damn child. Don't even want the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so he might have got into a situation like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so now <clears throat> the the problem that I think that he's getting attacked at is he lost a child a, a month maybe about a month ago um to cancer like the baby came out stillborn or something like that or i think the baby was only alive maybe a couple of hours or whatever but i think he had brain cancer or something like that <clears throat> um but at the end of the day he ended up having another child from another female and then he went on his show and, and announced it now he still announced the loss of his child 
but he also announced the birth of his new child and the other chick was pregnant longer than the one that lost the child I think they had to do like inducer just to get a baby out because of the cancer and boom, 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 da, 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 da. but these girls formerly the, not all women but these women that are attacking him black women um, <laughs> it's just black women attacking him. It's just black women attacking. Him. But but let me get to the point. Let me get to the point. <laughs> black women are attacking this man. I'm about to attack you if you don't take that. Black women are black women are attacking this man. Okay, all right. The women, the women, the women that are attacking this man. No, just the, <laughs> disrespectfully. I take it back. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say you, women. You got June bugs. Nah, I ain't June bugs. No, June I'm his friend. Son, yeah, man. June bugs son ain't that nigga that be next door. Nah, I ain't that nigga. He'll be running with that nigga. That he'll running with that little boy. The one that be with June bugs. The one be the one be with June bugs. Son all the time. June bugs son all the time. But these women are mad at Nick Cannon. For announcing that he had a newborn baby, mm-hmm. I they say that they should have gave the other baby mother more time to, you know, grieve the loss or whatever. Boom, boom. But we don't know what the other woman said. Like she. Can you tag me in? Tag hmm? me in. Tag me in. High five. Okay. What color am I first? You black. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Why you act like you want sure? I'm just saying. You black. Okay. <laughs> you black. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, like, yes, you are mourning a child, but that doesn't mean you ignore yeah. any of your other children. You show them just as much love, if not more, mm-hmm. because I mean they lost too. Even though that baby is young, doesn't know it's still. So no, I would not attack him for that. Mm-hmm. I want him to see me somewhere, not to have his baby, but to be a babysitter or something. <laughs> Me to wait until my baby turned like a year old to a and like, oh yeah, yeah, I just I had this one too. Uh yeah, it, it's a year old though. No. But, but, you hide your baby? but I think they just finding the reason to be mad at this nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, why y'all mad at this nigga? But really they just mad because he having babies from multiple women. But I was like, damn, y'all have multiple baby daddies and these niggas ain't even taking care. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And low key, I think that's envy. That's that's a little hate. That's hate on day on day end. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mm-hmm. was like, damn. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which you call my number? You called the? Uh, let me see. You ain't called, nigga. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. I'll do this. I'll call you, nigga. How about that. Yeah. We about to build a Nick Cannon community. Y'all can live in the same neighborhood, babysit for each other. We gonna make this a village. Mm-hmm. He probably gonna put <clears throat> somebody to be the the godfather of mm-hmm. the village. So why Yo, what's up, my guy? You on the MID podcast show? What's going on, bro? So tell everybody in the world who are you? Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> this guy right nah 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 this he ain't called right. it yet he is called it what's up man nah nah what you this got what you got right here. what you got man oh nothing you was talking about the uh the uh Drake situation I was like yeah bro mad bro <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah hot. yeah yeah cause now 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 look man now look man now it gotta be hot he got to be hot nigga this the fact that I'm Drake you know yeah. what I'm saying a bazillionaire. A bazillionaire, <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna and this yeah. it, 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 you ain't never see Aesop Rocky smile so hard. You know. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For, 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 when the last time we seen that nigga? Yeah, exactly. I ain't. Like, yeah, I ain't seen that nigga since fucking problems. And he got an ASAP crew. Yeah, ASAP Ferg. He got ASAP yams. ASAP. Yeah, he got ASAP yams. ASAP turkey over there. I don't know. He got a whole ASAP Thanksgiving thing going on over there. 
<laughs> but and then Rihanna, he over there dicking down Rihanna. That's crazy to me. I just don't. Women do that though. Sorry. All some women. Sorry. They do that though. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean that's that's a that's a that's a that's a pretty weird situation. Like I know he he probably gonna he probably gonna come out with a he probably gonna come out with a diss track <laughs> pretty soon about it. You goddamn right. That nigga wrote that shit. Watching the Toronto game, nigga, the Raptors. Yeah. Mm. He definitely going to come out with a diss track for that. I guarantee you. <clears throat> you been following that Nick Cannon situation? Not really. I know he um I know he said that uh for the like the only situation that I'm try- that I know about is is the him losing the baby, but I didn't know he announced a new one. Yeah. That, that's new to me. So on his talk show, he announced a new one. But he also acknowledged the one that he lost. He did that multiple times throughout the month. But right. when he said, Yo, hey, I also got a new one. I just had a newborn baby. And boom, all the ladies were like, how dare you? You didn't give the other baby mother time to grieve. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, he got a, so, he got a, yeah. so he got a baby by a whole, whole new one. A whole new one. Which whole is not new. One. Which is not news. I know what he's doing. He got money, and he he don't know how long he's gonna be here. And it's cool. I I know they got agreements, and it's cool. Oh. Push a T about to drop another track, nigga. You been push a T about to kill that nigga. But good. Yeah, you got a baby and you yeah. ain't tell nobody. But Nick Cannon ain't great, though. Nick Cannon ain't great. But either way, so do you feel like he should have waited to announce the new baby? or? I just, honestly, man, like in that situation right there, um, even if you, okay, Nick Cannon to me, bro, that that that's 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 like some clown ass shit. You are right. You know what I'm saying? He's ASAP like, Rocky of the. Why would you, why would you announce, like I mean, and then, like the audacity of just like putting it out there. You know what I'm saying? Publicly, like, oh, I'm with a whole, another baby mom, and I already got no, a pregnant. No, no, no. You know no. Okay, so so, but hold on. Let's we gonna we got to clear up Nick Cannon though because Nick Cannon ain't doing that, man. Nick Cannon has agreement with these women. Now we now we we know we we know women ourselves right. Some women just want this right. just want the baby. They don't want the nigga. Hey, just give me the baby. I'm getting old. Um, my t- my my clock is ticking. You know, you just give right. me the baby, nigga. Just give me the bread. Yes, yeah, but, but that's bread. It's bread come behind that. Though. Yeah, you but, know what I'm but like money is coming mm-hmm. behind that. But Nick Cannon has that money though. You you know what I'm saying? I don't know how many kids he got now. Though. I so think he, he on, got like I think he on a strong eight. But you know, by default, he had twins though. <laughs> So he started off with a strong two already. Like don't don't let his rap career fool you. Oh no, he got the bread. But let me tell you what, if I was dealing with an illness, I'm fuck I'm I'm praying to everybody. What I feel bad about though is if he does leave early, like mm-hmm. they not gonna have him. Like that's hurt to him. Like I understand he's gonna have The only thing that's gonna suck is where them kids living at. Cause you you ain't gonna be present on them kids' life at the same time. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know he got. I know kind of Nick Cannon. He corny. I know he got one in Wyoming. He got one fucking Utah. But I just, but I, I just know him. Weird to me. Yeah, that's weird to me. No, I, I can have babies from multiple women, but they're gonna they all gonna be in, in the, within four hours of each other, some shit like that. Yeah, he got the money though. But but what we fail to realize these women out here are getting pregnant by Junebug's son that work at KLC. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? And them the ones that are the main ones that are hating. They got five baby daddies. And these niggas either locked up, work at Burger King. Ain't nothing against everybody work at Burger King out there in the podcast. Land. I love me a good double waffle. That's my that's my cheat meal right there. Oh, that good old double waffle, that that's a good ass fucking meal. But anyway, these these niggas having five kids and can't take care of them. But at least Nick Cannon can take care of these kids. He got a trust fund. Yeah. All of this set up. And I honestly feel like he is spending time mm-hmm. with them. Like, they, he probably got yeah, the yeah. whole game backstage mm-hmm. in his show. I don't, I don't, I don't know about all that. Like, I don't know about all that. Eight, eight kids. Five man, backstage, man. Like, I, think I, don't, I don't know. I think he's like, trying to get. He, he's trying to get more than 10, though. I know he is. He just keep going. And it's cool. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that's a void in those children's lives. Yeah. Forget how you can have as many as you want to. Mm. I don't but they don't I don't know. Oh my nigga, I'm gonna let you go off the phone, man. Get people room to uh uh call in. Thank you, my guy. Hey, I'll hit no you up problem, later bro. though, man. No problem, bro. Appreciate Stay tuned it. in. We still rocking, we still rocking. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna be on yeah, I'm on there. Gotcha. Bet. Yeah. Um Hey look, as long as you got the money to fucking take care of them, you 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 Gucci. Mm. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call a special friend of mine. See if he pick up. <clears throat> oh damn! No. You know iPhone. They be trying to FaceTime you on all type of shit. Yeah, yeah. You got that droid. Mm-hmm. Oh, I should have texted him first. Damn, I should have texted you first. I wasn't even thinking, my guy. How you good? Reese, what's good, my nigga? What's happening? Damn, how long it been, nigga? How long it been? How long it been? Man. Uh, what you I left first, right? Yeah, I left first in 2017. I left in 2017. Yeah. yeah. So, so, let me, um, are you watching the show right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. You probably want to mute it because it's going to echo. Um, But everybody... This nigga Reese, I got a story that we gonna talk about before we, before we. Oh shit! I got, I gotta say one. <clears throat> I gotta say okay, one. That's but, cool. um, I was stationed in Hawaii for almost five years or whatever, and um, I used to hang out with the barbers in fucking Hawaii, and Reese was one of the niggas that that ran the barber shop in Hawaii. Cool ass motherfucker, man. Then once I linked up with these niggas and cut, I was ready to leave Hawaii till I linked up with these niggas at that barber shop. Fucking Q, <laughs> Reese, Tony. I was about to say Q, like Ice Cube. No, no, his name was Q though. That was my barber. Uh, Justin. Just, oh, Justin. Just yeah. yeah. Hey, who was that one nigga that used to cut my hair? That nigga was weird. Uh, he was skinny nigga. He wasn't there long. Um, PID. I th- yeah, he he used to cut my hair, but like, I ain't even eat nothing today. But I still got my nutrition. I was like, what? Uh, he was you like, talking about pops? I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. I got my green shake or some shit and niggas to drink like hell and shit i like nigga if you don't give me this temp fade so i can get the fuck up out of here hey, he's on some other shit bro it was a couple times i wanted to <laughs> crazy but in hawaii that was like the craziest shit like hawaii was the best duty station of my life of course it was just hawaii but it was wild bro. it, it, it was, was wild it was <laughs> but we had some nights over there but we had some nights <laughs> but how you been man how you been I've been Gucci, man, up and down, you know what I'm saying? I'm alive, that's all I can really count for right now, you know what I'm saying? So you say you're jumping back and forth um, from Washington and Cali? Or down yeah, because, you know, before I was living, I was living in Cali, and I was working in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. like, well, if I can do it like that, then, hell, yeah, I can do it, you know, from somewhere closer. Tell me about where you're originally from, though. <laughs> I'm originally from Milwaukee. Milwaukee, nigga, that one threw me all <laughs> off, nigga. <laughs> I, mean, I hey, said, hey, hey, look, barbershop yeah, well, full of fun. gangsters, thugs. I said, damn, where you from? He said, Milwaukee. I said, nigga, they got gangsters in that cold ass fucking. You don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's gangsters over there. I ain't, never met nobody. I ain't never met nobody from Milwaukee till I met this nigga in Hawaii. That's the cra- ain't that crazy? <laughs> I ain't never met a black dude from Milwaukee. I went to Hawaii and meet a barber that's from fucking Milwaukee and gangsters. You know how I many you know I mean? people got that same story though, bro? <laughs> yeah, like, I know, nigga. I'm like, you from, same you shit from where? Everybody. Shit, Milwaukee. And the nigga said that shit real cool. He like, shit, Milwaukee. No nickname, no nothing. That's how he was. <laughs> Cause you, you know, we, you know, barbers they be fanning you up. Nah, they don't want to really, talk too loud. Really shit, know. Milwaukee. <laughs> I really. <laughs> You the imagination. That's really really flash. Like you got to shine some damn body shit. <laughs> shit, Milwaukee. That's how that nigga told me. He didn't really know me at the time. So, now, nah, um, you been watching the show the whole night? Or are you just joined? Uh, oh, no, just tell I me where you jumped in. That that's cool. I'm gonna catch you. Um, up. I was at um when y'all was talking about Nick Cannon. So how you feel about that? Cause you got some kids out there, nigga. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> now, how, how you feel about um what Nick Cannon's doing? 
Like, that's, that's what I was thinking mm, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know um, mm-hmm. because I'm I'm kind of in that situation. Um, I don't know. I think. Hello, hey, 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 hey. Let's not, let's not be so hasty. <laughs> I think <laughs> take care of his kids though. Don't get it. To... <laughs> nah, nah, nah. No. Nah, my bad. Nah, you good. Here's here's the thing though. Um, I could speak from a biased point, but you know, what I'm saying it would be pointless. I, I see both perspectives. Mm-hmm. Um, but here's the the biggest thing that I want to put out there is that. <clears throat> why why does anybody you know why is it anybody's business why does anybody care yeah that, that much you know what i'm saying take it you know that it, it ruins your day yeah that you have to get online and say yo you know this nigga's a bum because mm-hmm. he did this you know what i'm saying what did at the end of the day what does it do for you <laughs> yeah but but you know the ones that's calling him a bum is the the females with the five baby daddies that that none of, they, and none of them are taking care of the kids that they have with them they just mad like this nigga having multiple kids and he's still there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's like, damn. It, it, and you know for a fact he has some type of arrangement with him. Because I, I've been offered that, right, from females. Like, that I know, like, not 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 like random females, but, like, females that I just know from the past. We You know, we about to be 40 years old. They ain't no child. I hit, I hit 40, B. You, um, you, know, you know what I'm saying? They just want that baby. Hey, just give me the sperm. Just give me the sperm, <laughs> nigga. I don't really need you. I just I want the sperm. Mm-hmm. I don't. I follow you. I follow you to a certain extent with that because yeah. I think that because well, first of all, when you think you know most people, the majority of people who know Nick Cannon, their first impression of Nick Cannon is that he's corny. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So I don't I don't knock him in any kind of way. You know what I'm saying. Do about his hustle or whatever. So mm-hmm. I mean, but for the simple fact that I don't see him any other type of way, I can't go out there and say, well, you know, he's he got this type of a pimp ass arrangement with these chicks. You know what I'm saying. I think it's yeah. more along the terms of. <clears throat> And this is just my opinion that he might be trying to get some kind of, you know, uh, street cred. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like I said, he, he's kind of corny. Cause I know he's going to use that for one of his bars on Wild and Out. I know he is on the Wild style. Yeah. You know what I'm I got ten baby mama, nigga. You ain't got one. You know what I'm saying? He's going to use that. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Nick can't sit your ass down. I'm going to say, well, nigga, if he paid us more, we could have more. <laughs> yeah, I know, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> but. Mm-hmm. Okay. Damn. Why y'all? Why y'all get so hard up on the dude though? Because right? ASAP right Look, Nick, this is my goddamn Nick thing. See, that's how Nick getting these bras though. And I, he <laughs> a hook. He a hook their ass right out their panties. A hook right out their panties. Panties. <laughs> panties, 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 panties. <laughs> Pennies just slide right off on the snow. I'm, I'm trust me. I'm I'm no. I know, nigga. I know. Laugh a girl right out her panties, nigga. She don't even know. Wake up. Oh goddamn, nigga. Did you fuck me? Yeah, yeah. I did a stand up routine last night. You got naked. Shit. It was. It was right um. And I know that's what it is. And not only that, he 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 corny funny though. No, and, and 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 look at the girls he getting pregnant too though. I do do that though. They might be bad, but let me meet them because they might be corny bad. It did. That is a such thing as a corny bad shit. And you know, you know how yeah. people since we talking about Hawaii. You yeah, know how it is. Like I've been telling people all the time. Mm-hmm. Dimes in Hawaii corny be like quarters anywhere else. Yeah, but it's like yeah. You go to Hawaii, you hear them talk. It's like whoa, whoa, like you're corny. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and knock you off and just get up out of here. Aloha, <laughs> fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like so, corny girls are corny fine girls are fucking with Nick Cannon. Cause Mariah Carey got corny to me when she started fucking with her. Like, you're Mar- See, hold on now. Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. I'm holding. Watch me match this up. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Watch me match this up. Mm-hmm. That's the first ASAP and Rihanna situation. Nice. Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. That's the first. Like, what the fuck you doing, Mariah Carey? That's the oh, first. I see, what, I see what you're doing here. Yeah. Okay. I connect it. And they both for the news. I see them as a match, but I, ain't, I don't see it like that. Do you think Mark? You think no, Nick Cannon deserved to have t- multiple kids by Mark, just like JD and Janet Jackson? Now hold on, now hold on, hold on. I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. Hold on, it's connecting. Please, I got my hand up. Please. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man, the one that took the cake. I think it was Swiss Beats uh, and Alicia Keys. Like, oh, there, no, 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 no. That's not bad. That's not bad because Swiss Beats not corny I knew to I had me. A shot. The, Swiss Beats not corny to me. Yeah. Now, now, the, all right. Swiss Beats, Alicia like Keys. 
Yeah, he he do, but he a cool ass master splinter. I, I will give you that. Um, Swiss beast look everything but black. He look Jewish. <laughs> he look uh, <laughs> he look he look like Master Splinter. Uh, he look like uh, DJ Cali. Uh, yeah, is, he, is he Muslim though? Is yeah, he, is he Muslim? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? Swiss Beast can go anywhere in the world and, and be that person. Yeah, and just be that person. He ain't never, yeah. He go anywhere. Oh, um, I had a bean pop for the first time yeah. when I got to California. Uh, oh my god, nigga, did you? Do, was you? Where were you at, man? Did you get on the on the, at the freeway like they do in, in Compton? No, I was in I was in Marietta, but um, mm -hmm. the homeboy was from San Diego. He had a spot out there, and he had somebody bring on there personally. I'm talking about these. I'm trying to tell you, change your life. Oh, you saying they good? Yeah, they good. I'm not doing this with you. No, we're not doing this, man. <laughs> Bro? We're not. We're not finna have. Yeah. You had a bean pie. I know I ain't had no bean pie. Don't speak on it. Here. But I ain't finna <laughs> have no sweaty nigga in the suit. There, your bean pie. Get your bean pie. Bean pie. Get your <laughs> bean pie. I'll slob a hey, nigga, my brother. Guy, he didn't have no suit on. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, it's 2022 now. He, he was raised. He probably. He knew where anyway. It was my first time, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't know the difference anyway. Yeah. Well, what kind of beans is it? I don't know, nigga. See, <laughs> you don't even know what she is. <laughs> <Don't make it. laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, nobody asked that question. What kind of beans are made in this bean pie? That is a good question. Uh, yeah, that is a good question. Nigga, I'm coming to Cali, nigga. I'm, that's the first question. Hey, what kind of beans in there? And if that nigga say, uh, get the fuck out my face, nigga. No, because no, it's, it's kind of, it's got like a. It no, ain't, that's it Mexican can be, shit. It can't be re kind of sweet be Because I'm it's pretty like, sure they sweet. It's, it's beans, but it's a sweet. It's kind of like a sweet potato beans. I don't know what the fuck. It's a like, sweet it's beans. Crazy. You can put some sugar in the refried. You can sweet no, you can't do refried beans like that. You, like you eat refried beans with tacos, nigga. You don't. I don't eat them at all. Them things, I'm like about to make some tacos in a minute. Yeah, right he in the kitchen right now. I was. I've been throwing out this meat, nigga. I'm about to cook till you call. Oh. <laughs> but I understand uh, your point of view on everything, though, and and you're right. You you probably you probably more in tune to that. You know, what I'm saying in your situation, because you kind of see both sides of everything. You um, out. <laughs> We've been through the years of this shit. Yeah, man. we already been through it. <laughs> Trust me, they know me, nigga. I'm I clown. All right, I love them to death, but I clown. You know. Um, <laughs> Facts, but you know, said nigga don't have a kids, nigga. If you don't want me, you don't say no, nah, but not 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 you. But I hate niggas like that. Damn, nigga, why you bringing my kids in this, nigga? You, it's your kids. <laughs> why you bringing them? In? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he'll no, no, no. What get me is with the chicks, though, right? Yeah. So you'll do something like you'll dip out, and they ain't even got to be your kids. But oh, but why are you gonna do me and the kid? What about the kids, bitch? You didn't care about the kids when you was fucking old boy. Yeah, you right. You right. Yeah, well, fuck her. It was man, fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what us? Hey, hey, when we get hurt, nigga, we hurt. I'm still hurt over another situation. I'm still hurt, nigga. <laughs> like I'm still hurt. Like goddamn, man, I can't believe you did it be like that. You know, men when men get when men get hurt, we stick to that shit. Man, fuck that bitch. Hey man, you know, how, you know how it is. Like when I be throwing, I do my little kickbacks and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm always real. You know, I like that shit, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the same bitch, mm -hmm. bro. I tell her oh. so she got pissed off. I dipped out. You know, I got my own crib or whatever, and I didn't tell her where I moved to. Mm. But she found out some type of way, right? Got pissed off. Came over there, and I had my girl had one of the big drums, like the man-made ones. Yeah. Sitting in the motherfucking yard, nigga. I came home. She didn't drug that bitch in the middle of the street. I want to. I'm still looking for that bitch. It's been almost twenty years. Yeah, and you back. still think about it, man. Yeah, like it was yesterday. Man, I got a chick, I got a chick right now randomly thought it out to shake my head. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I can't believe it. Just... Anyway, but we ain't gotta yeah, yeah. up on that. You know, we you know we drink right now, nigga. We drink. Everything's coming together, Reese. Everything coming together. We needed this episode. We needed this. This is crazy. We still we still hurt, nigga. And Drake just brought it back out of us. Nah. <laughs> it, 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 it takes a light skinned nigga. It, it takes a light skinned nigga to bring that. <sighs> light skinned nigga from the north. That nigga, I know. That nigga next album could be crazy. What you saying? Go. I'm sorry. I haven't had no therapy. I can therapize. 
right. We've been talking all night before we started. We almost we damn near started late for for therapy talking. Yo, 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 check it out though. Let what's me up? ask you this. Oh question. yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? What is the big fascination with entertainment? Why is it so important? Uh as far as what type of entertainment? All of it. Because it's all the same thing. I'm t- I'm t- I mean, you got to break down that question a little bit more. Like, you got sports entertainment. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Which is, which is fake, but we can go into that another another episode mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Damn, but it's false. Um, again, you got uh, wrestling, which shares the same thing, sports entertainment. You got the, the movies and the TVs and all this shit. It's like, it's why, is this, why is that the most... Because I'm, I'm, I'm sure... I don't know the numbers exactly, but I'm sure that it's the most um, grossing, um, you know... Uh, the n- numbers wise it has to be the, the most grossing when it comes to um you know how much money's been allocated in in our society it has to be well but why well we've been we've been getting entertained since the beginning of time so i mean that's i mean you talking about sports and, all, and uh, i mean that that's that, that, i mean that, that's just how life is right i nigga i, I, think, I, it, I i'm it, entertained it, by tiktok nigga like what right. do niggas do that shake that shit? That, I really want to know that shake that shit. I really want to know how to do that dance. But I don't want to say it out loud and just admit it to everybody. But at the end of the day, that shake that shit, I want to do it all down the street, nigga, around the corner to the 7-Eleven. But anyway, back to my point. Let me put it out there. Entertainment. <clears throat> entertainment, we always want to have that. It's the bad entertainment that I, I hate. and th- 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 but, but it ain't the bad entertainment. It's the bad entertainment that black folks fucking green lights. Okay? Right. <clears throat> now. And I'm gonna tell you one fucking show that that fucking power book too, right? Look here, man. Look here. <laughs> the writing on that shit is fucking. All right, no. It's before we even get into that. Okay, you just added another topic. Thank you, Reese, for adding another topic for the night. All right, let's go back to Tyler Perry movies. Let's go back to Tyler Perry movies. Oh. Mm-hmm. Now they was I, right, you know, mm, mm, at the beginning, but this nigga just went crazy. Every movie he made, the the makeup shit was all fucked up. His the wigs was all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Same. Like, <clears throat> so now fast forward to Power Book Two, which I know Tyler Perry got to have his hand in it somewhere because the shit is just weird. It's just garbage, <laughs> right? When that nigga Zeke was four, three, four years. Yeah, come on, now. Come, come on, on now. Come on. So this nigga was Zeke. nine in first grade. Like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Like. Y'all kidding? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you way behind. Oh, oh, ghost, ghost. That's why I don't watch these shows. Like, it sounds crazy. It's it's crazy, right? That happens though. Believe it or not. No, it happens often, but no. Yeah. That must happen in Milwaukee, nigga. It's no way. Yeah, I'm nine in the first grade. So, so all right. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to. I think we got more secrets than that. Oh no, we got More secrets. We, like, we, got, we got, but the, our secrets are still normal, though. Man, Reese, Re- okay, th- th- think about it, Reese. About Reese, think about it. He was, um, okay, hold on, hold on. How, how old are you in in uh, ninth grade? Fourteen. He was that in sixth grade. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like come on, fifth, fifth, sixth grade. He was fourteen. Like he was even on the show. He was bigger than everybody. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, this is not a big shock to me. But my thing, they could have did one year, two year. Okay, nigga, they did damn near four years. But you got <clears throat> you got people doing that shit on purpose just to have extra eligibility to play football. Oh, it's, like I said, shit, it's I ain't even thought about different. that. It's not all that different. I ain't even think about that. But he, can, but you know, what nigga can go to different statutory rape and shit. Yeah, all that shit. He Think about, about it. That nigga was twenty one years old, yeah. fucking some tenth graders, nigga. I know, oh, I know he was. Oh. Cause that nigga was in tenth grade. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and he was smashing. He twenty four now. I know. <laughs> he was damn Yeah. Yeah. He gonna be the teachers at the club. Happy hour and shit. But he didn't go because he still thought he was sixteen. But why would you write that in there, though? I think the way that they did it was was whack. It could, yeah. you know, if they were going to do it that, it could have been done better. But mm-hmm. it's not it's not a a rare occurrence in our society at all. What's up, Anise? 
Yeah, but but okay, all right. Now I want you to look up this one clip from Power Two. This nigga put on his shoes nine times. <laughs> 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 this nigga, the like the dad, the dad of Zeke. All right, hold on. Let's go back to the dad of Zeke, right? The dad, what the dad, the dad, huh? Mecca, the Mecca, Mecca, right? Yeah, Mecca, Mecca, he gets out, he gets out of jail with her, right? Cause he was in the army, then he went to jail. But you know that's worse than being June Bug's son. No, 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 no. Yeah, but but fuck June Bug, son. Look how look how he approached Zeke, his long lost son. Zeke daddy. Zeke yeah. Daddy so he, no Zeke Zeke daddy playing daddy ball. <laughs> Zeke playing ball at the best ball. Before when Zeke can't act, they found this nigga that just cannot at all, act bro. at all. At all, <laughs> like come, on. like whoa, it just fucking pissed me off, right? And, you know, that was a favorite. That nigga slow. Yeah, him. he know. I don't know. He knows something on Fifty Cent that we don't know. I mean, uh-uh, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. I mean, if he done fell every grade up through six, he repeated every grade at least once. I mean, that's kind of how he didn't. F- no, no, no. He didn't fail the grade. They told him. He was a certain age where he was a uh, different age. So when yeah. he was nine, they told him he was six. Okay, back to this. In it, in it, that, I believe that character would fit a person that would believe, a child that would believe oh. three years just got erased from their life. I did look. Okay. <clears throat> but let, me, right. let me tell you what this nigga father said to him on that Zeke basketball daddy, court. It's Zeke Daddy, it's Zeke Daddy, and he got a cool name too. But just because he said this shit on that basketball court, his name's Zeke Daddy. Zeke Daddy. <laughs> his name Mecca, cool. He ain't, but he ain't cool. Zeke Daddy. He look, Zeke over there. He practicing. He about thirty for one. He he about thirty. He you know he getting all. He about to go to the NBA. <clears throat> yeah. Straight from high school. He going he LeBron James in right now. He thirty in twelfth grade. Practicing. His daddy come on and he was like, hey, I know you don't know me, uh, but, and I'm just paraphrasing. Well, that ain't creepy at all. <clears throat> I got this, That's I got this tattoo. Yeah, I, I just, uh, you're my son. No, no, before he said you're my son, he was like, you got one foot that's a half a size shorter than the other. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He tried to adjust his legs and shit. I don't know if Zeke unacting ass tried to adjust his legs and he was like, yeah, why? He said, that's right. It runs in the family. <laughs> You're my son. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. Swear to God. I, I cut the TV off went to, and went to mow my lawn. And it was 9 o'clock at night. I just went to mow my lawn. I said, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this with power. I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucking God. That's how he told him that he was his father. Do you have... Do you have a foot that's a half no, a size smaller no, show no than the more. other? No, I just show no. What you mean? I'll tell you. On, if you don't hear, I got some stories for you. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. yeah. But, but. Ain't nothing. A half a size now. <laughs> not birthmark. <laughs> not like freckles on A birth. We got the same nose or nothing. This nigga said it runs in the. Yeah, I know. I know you do. It runs in the family. <laughs> He's standing three foot taller than he is. Like, it must be the uncle or something. I know. Got to be from the uncle. I went. I cut my grass. So, wait, let me ask you this. So, when he go buy shoes, what he do? He's this nigga. Let me, let me get a, let me get a, uh, let me get 11. And a 10 and a half. He probably thinking that they they hurt. He hurting the whole time. But he thinking like it's normal. Because, well, he's probably years younger than what he acts. Or four years older than what he actually is. Reese. This thing can go to full luck. <laughs> yo, yo, let me, yo, let me get my aqua eights. Hey, yeah, well, sir, what size, what size you want? Let me get an eleven. For the, for the left foot. For the left foot. <laughs> foot. You gotta get the foots right. And foots. a ten and a half for the They'll right. They make feet. The foots. Foots. They make feet. They foots. <laughs> oh my God! Let me get eleven and a ten and a half. I'm gonna tell you this this quick story, right? Yeah, what's up? So I had this chick. It's stupid. <laughs> Most people got. I mean, they legs longer. Than one leg. Don't don't try to take up for that bad acting <laughs> shit, nigga. Don't try. I'm just saying, bro. Me and my mama got the same ears. Like, no, nigga, no. We we ain't talking about. We talk about a half size foot. <laughs> that should uh, sound funny every time you see it. Nigga, eleven and a ten and a half. <laughs> uh, anyway, right, yeah, so. I got you, I got you. 
I come to the crib, or I'm getting ready to leave, and I got somebody come to the crib, whatever. If you get there right before I leave, so I told you, you know, let's go in there and chill or whatever. So, yeah. this is a good 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. I go up there, I had to run up the block real quick. I come back, bro, and my house is sweating. Your house is sweating? What? I know, I know y'all looking like, y'all know, baby D. Y'all don't know. But don't, <laughs> listen. <laughs> bro, my house is sweating. So, um, I go in the house and I'm like, so I'm thinking like in my garage, you know, this is where my that's where my washer dryer is at. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking that the the water hose came from the back of the uh the washer or whatever, and you know the water was coming out of the garage. But I open the garage and dry as fuck. So I'm mm-hmm. going around the other side of the house, nigga. This hey, this chick then power washed my house. Nah. Eleven thirty at night, dude. Oh my god. At least she didn't <laughs> so tell up, nigga. She helped you. She just but... ran up. Oh, but at eleven thirty at night, was she on something? Bro. Had to be, bro. She, she had to be on meth. Just say thank you. She went on that meth. No, that's she cocaine went, shit. Went that no, that's cocaine shit. It's cocaine. I can make seven albums off cocaine alone. <laughs> this girl went power power wash your house. We call it power washer now. Yep, yeah, you know how, you know how we do. We are gonna give you the nickname. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard. You talk power washer. It's been a minute. It's, yeah, it's been a minute. Like power washer. Like why you name power washer? Uh-huh. And then you don't get the story you thought you were gonna get. <laughs> my brother, um, my brother, baby mama. We call her Peach Cobbler because first time I ever oh. met her, she had brought Peach oh. Cobbler to the crib. Her name been. I don't even know her yes. real name. You can't even call her. <clears throat> My, my wow. nephew, damn near seventeen years old, I still don't know his mama. Really, <laughs> it's like, well, how peach cobbler? Uh, what's your mama name? Not peaches, but peach, peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Yep. Peaches. Peaches. Yep. Peaches. Yeah. Yeah. Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Yep. Peaches. Peaches. Yep. Before I let you go, man, I gotta. It's a lot of stories I want to reminisce with you, man, about Hawaii. But I'm just gonna do one, cause some of these we can't even say on this goddamn air. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So, <clears throat> cause matter of fact, I give you a piece of a story. Um, you remember what I was? Who, who was arguing with Tony about Jay Z and shit at that one that one night at your house? Yeah, oh, who, no, we wasn't your house. Well, who house we was at? That was my house. Oh, that was your. Oh yeah, yeah, bet. That was y'all arguing about the wife. Yeah. Um, cause it's a sin. We got a sin in the comment section. She was there that night. But uh, we we gonna talk about that night. <clears throat> we gonna talk about my thirtieth birthday. <clears throat> Yeah, so let me tell the story before Reese get off this phone. I mean, I'm stationed in Hawaii, right? I'm 29 years old. My 30th birthday come up. So I'm like, shit, I'm in Hawaii, nigga, for the 30, the dirty 30, the dirty 30, right? So I'm like, shit, boom, boom. I go to the barber shop, get cut up. I like how I usually do on Fridays. I fuck with the niggas, boom, boom, what we doing? We gonna hit up Club Rumors, nigga. Bad. But then, Reese was like, I'm throwing a kickback, though. For your birthday, nigga, come to the crib out there. I'm like, you bad, nigga. I went home. I took a shower. It was like 5.30 in the afternoon. I went right back out to this nigga. <laughs> like, I wasn't even, I wasn't even wasting my, my birthday Friday, whatever, right? So, I get to this nigga house. I'm drinking Henny. So they, yeah, they playing cards. It's like little females in there and shit. The rest of the niggas from the barbershop coming in. My nigga come. Boom, boom. And then fucking, I'm drinking the Henny and seeing shit, right? And now I'm, I'm feeling myself at this point, ghost. Like, I'm feeling myself. I'm 30 years old. I'm with my niggas in Hawaii, right? This nigga Reese, he come out. This nigga was a, a true weed head. And then he was like, he, he, he over there rolling up weed. I'm like drinking. I'm saying, man, let me hit that shit. <laughs> he was like, "What? Okay. Shit, let me hit that shit." That nigga let me like, "Nah, man, you nah." You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do this, man. You been drinking, and everybody in the party like, "Nah, nigga, you already been drinking from one, nigga, and you don't smoke weed." You know what I'm saying? Like, but you already been drinking, nigga. You don't drink and smoke, nigga. Let me think. What the fuck, nigga? I'm gonna fuck, nigga. I'm thirty. I'm thirty, nigga. <laughs> I'm grown ass man, nigga. Dirty thirty. You can only be thirty one time in your life. Like I'm just like, like I'm, I'm wild. I'm on a henny. It's like seven o'clock at night. Anything ain't possible. Man, I hit. I took that nigga blood. I hit it twice. Slumped out, nigga. In the fucking hold on. 
slumped. Seven fifteen in the. <laughs> I ain't even <laughs> slumped. That's just one of many. But but hold on, I ain't even done yet. My nigga Peanut, he he dare, you know he could he I, I invite him because he stayed around the corner from the nigga. So <clears throat> he like damn nigga, you good? It's just eight o'clock? Cause we gotta make it to club rumors <laughs> at eleven. <laughs> like we even. Yeah, like we yeah. I'm I'm already swamped of Henny and two puffs of the week. So. I, I pulled it together. I pulled it together, and it was like eleven o'clock. It's me. I think I think Justin was there. I know Pino was there. It was. All, I think the whole barbershop was there. But I remember I had that blue F one fifty, right? I had that I blue. That. Yeah, let's come on with it. Come yeah, with it. I had that blue F one fifty. But I pulled it together, nigga. I pulled it together. I mustered up the drive. <laughs> all, huh? Yo, so. I mustered up because one nobody else gonna drive, so everybody in the truck. So this, they you? yeah, they, I don't know why I'm soup, hey. nigga. I'm trust me, that's not even nothing, nigga. They trust me with every goddamn thing. I was soup. You <laughs> hold on. Hold on. That's not even <laughs> so. We, I get this big ass. I got this big ass blue uh, F one fifty at the time, right? I'm right, nigga. I'm tell you what. I'm this. I had pulled the seat up this close to the fucking steering wheel, nigga. And then I cut the music off because the road, the 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 lines on the highway on H three or whatever, <laughs> it was jumping, nigga. It was jumping. <laughs> I'm this close to the steering wheel, nigga. I tap out. No. So just, I think Justin was on the passenger side. Justin, was, Justin the Q. Yeah, Justin the Q, and I think my nigga Peanut was in behind me. So Justin shot to turn on the radio. I slapped his hand. Blah! He said, "Brah, what's the problem, bro?" I said, "Nigga, I don't need no distraction right now." <laughs> we rode damn near forty-five minutes across the island to get the club rumors. Hold on, no, 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 hold on. That's not even the half of it. That's not even half of it. So everybody like this nigga's fucked up. I say yeah, nigga. So everybody be quiet. Put your seatbelts on. Go the window up, nigga. Shut the fuck. Don't even breathe loud, nigga. Like I need to fucking. The lines are doing double dutch, nigga. Like you know, I don't know why I'm driving. Why I'm driving? Like I don't know. I'm high. I'm drunk. You know what? Them your ride or die. Yeah, them my ride or die. I'm tell you, Hawaii was real. Them niggas was quiet as hell, looking at me driving like this. And then nobody said just like, just just pull over. Yeah. But you know what? I'm a pro at this. I was I was good. I'm a pro at this. But it was like, damn, this nigga high and drunk. And he, so we pull up to club rumors, right? We go, we always do the, the uh, valet. I pull up. Valet opened the door. I fell out that bitch. <laughs> I fall out that bitch. <laughs> Nigga, I am just so happy. You know how you mentally exhausted? Cause you and you happy that you made it somewhere? And then once you got there, you just fucking just pass out. Like, that's just how it was. Oh, we made it here without dying. So, instead of these niggas just like saying, yeah, but I think we might want to call it a night. Nah, these niggas drugging me in the club. Nigga, and then we, we had that little, we had a little, yeah, we here now. We had a little connect. We go in front of everybody. Like, we had a, we ain't waiting in line. So, these niggas dragging me into the club. All the females like, what's wrong with that nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't drug out, drug. You can't drug in. I'm, yeah. They dragging me in the club like, oh, nah. But see, I know why they drove me in the club. Because my birthday, they had did the whole um, name on the fucking. Oh, they don't put money they in don't put money in this whole situation. <laughs> so they like, oh, this nigga suit making it to this club. I don't give a fuck. How fuck to be? They don't drug me in the club, right? They find out. They find this booth, right? A little VIP booth. They don't threw my ass in the booth. I don't slump over in the booth sleep, right? I'm slumped, right? Lord, the gangster shit, I'm gone. The gangster shit that them niggas did, they kind of played, they kind of pulled guard on me while they was like, <laughs> like, yo, no, I'm finna go to the bar, can you watch this nigga? And them niggas, ah, right, yeah, bet. <laughs> you had to have the Yeah. Them niggas, real niggas, though. Hey, look, I'm gonna buy you a yeah. you gonna take Hey, can you watch this nigga suit real we quick, man? Bernies, we yeah. But you know what, you know what's funny, though? Midnight pop, I hop right up. <sighs> <laughs> I'm back, niggas. <laughs> like I just woke up sober. I don't know what the fuck happened that night. He has no questions. Yeah, no, 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 no,
<laughs> Knock it off the wall. <laughs> Hold on, it's a fucking bug. Okay. <laughs> a bug just popped up on the wall. No, nah, cause I was trying to finish my story. Um. <laughs> yeah, I did saw it. I saw it crawl up the wall. But I was like, as long as you're gonna stay focused on me, and you ain't gonna see the bug. But you got glasses on them, bitches like 360. <laughs> but I just hopped up sober and then we just continue on the night. That shit was crazy that night. I was fucked up for at least four hours. You saw that thing. Yeah, I did saw that thing, but you was looking at me, so I was like, <laughs> if, if I could just keep her focused to that thing get clear out of your okay. eyesight, everything would be good. But nah. That's why I say you full of shit. Oh, Lord Jesus. I take my Drake reference back twice. Oh, my it's God. Ooh. Oh. But that was a good night, though. That was a good night. Cause by the time midnight <laughs> hit, I was so sober, and then we just wild, we just wild out. And you remember that time I threw? Uh, it was Tony's birthday. I threw the cake on his um. I threw the cake in his face. I, I should do. Niggas pissed off. Niggas <laughs> pissed off. Do you know what remind me I, of? Uh, it, it, it remind me of paid in full with Cameron was like, yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I yeah, came yeah. and I said, "Happy birthday!" I threw the cake in his face. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, man, but fuck them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like that's exactly how I felt that night. Like a low budget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. them niggas. That nigga was mad though. Yeah, me and nigga, I paid so much money for that. was a good ass night though. I was wilding out some nights over there. Bro, you was wild as fuck. Too. I yeah, was, hey, wild as fuck, bro. I was young, man. I was. Whew, I was seven years younger. I bet you don't even remember the first time we kicked it. It wasn't even at rumors. <sighs> Where was it? At? It was at all nighter. Cause you had uh, your crib. Oh yeah, that was on that navy, but the the navy. Um, yeah, it was under that underpath. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we ain't gonna talk about them all night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you love one, right? Okay, all right. <laughs> oh y'all niggas said that shit when I came to the barbershop. You a wild nigga, man. I, I, I fuck with you, man. <laughs> off the motherfucking chain, bro. <laughs> I mean, one night, cause we used to go to the all nighters, then go to rumors. That was like a thing at one point. But I remember, um, I ate all the chicken wings on the fucking um. <laughs> <laughs> I I went to all I went to the all nighters drunk, and they used to put up the chicken you wings. Drunk, I posted up. Yeah, I always was drunk. I posted up by that bar, and every time they put them chicken wings there, nigga, I was smashing them bitches like that. I gotta make it to rumors. I was busting though. Oh no, it was good. It was a good night. But yeah, man, I'm trying to get into the acting and shit too, like your ass. Huh? She's still on that bug shit. Yeah, she she literally watched that bug walk all the way out this motherfucker. That's like she ain't grow up in the hood. The country. Huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, in Hawaii, the roaches fly. Yeah. That's cool, but I don't want to be flying with her. <laughs> She's small, so the, the bug might the bomb the bug might pick her up and fly away with her. You is. Grown ass bitch. I'm a grown ass human. Grown ass full size human. Oh, I thought you said nah, we, oh. we ain't gonna say full size. You, I am. You, you snack size. You like. How you feel about silicones on medium speed? I'm just. Huh? I asked her how, how she feel about me, uh, uh, silver fans on medium speed. It could be on quadruple high. It ain't gonna touch me, comma. I mean. Yeah, she's she, she small. You know, yeah. <laughs> She's small. <laughs> but you're a full size human. Meanwhile, you about to, to, to do the large hoodie. I do, I was about to give you the large hoodie though. Cause I thought y'all I thought females y'all like the large hoodies that y'all like to bury yourself in. Like you wanna <sighs> We're not doing this It's okay. The bug is gone. I mean, the bug how, is gone. How effective could it be from, from Dollar Tree though? I mean, it's not twenty five now. They might, might. You said and them. We don't know who and them is either. Most of that shit is mm-hmm. woman. Mm-hmm. But hey, bro. Oh, talk about your book. You said you was writing a book, right? Yeah, the, the one that's coming out is yeah. That's, that's that's number ten, bro. Okay. Oh, you said you got ten books out, nigga. Yeah. <coughs> so, oh, nigga, I'm way behind. Yeah. Ass, Nah, <laughs> go. Um, Hold up, what, what? Drop like drop your um uh, drop your handles and stuff like that so everybody can um you know check out your books and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know the Facebook joint is um Reese G of course, and then we got 
Mahogany Reese, which is connected to The Fix, which is my, uh, my edibles page. Uh, the Fix it's 86. It's edibles, too. Got it. Bet. Mm -hmm. right, bruh. Off yeah. some of them joints right now. The mm -hmm. Fix. Don't get fixed up. Yeah. Hit The Fix in, and wherever you want to say it, it's, it'll get you where you need to be at. That's facts. she be as one with them bugs over there. Mm -hmm. Sure. But, uh, but yeah, man, no, the, uh, the books and shit, I've been, you know, I, I have my, um, I had my own publishing company. I was still in high school. Oh, really? Yeah, so it was like my second book, and the only reason I even uh, started it was because um, after the first one had sold, <clears throat> I had um, tried to go to like Barnes and Nobles and, and you know all the the big wit people or whatever, and they was trying to play me. Mm -hmm. So he's basically trying to say, okay, well we'll we'll take your product, you know what I'm saying, but we'll give you a one time you know price, mm -hmm. but then we'll make all the residual off of it. Mm -hmm years and years and I, I didn't understand that i was like nah i don't you know i'm really fucking with that like that so yeah um i was into english which later on i ended up um being an english major too yeah but um i just uh started researching all the stuff that i could do you know that they did and all, most of that shit was up my alley so i just did that and started my own uh publishing company so my second and third and every book after that has been under my publishing company i mean because i want to I want to write a book, but I definitely want to get into acting, though. That, that's my that's my next move. I mean, it's kind of all the same thing. Most of the mm. movies that you see come from they books. come from books. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of one and one. And you said you got a publishing? Um, yeah, a publishing company. Publishing company. That, see, I yeah. definitely fuck with you. Because, hold on right quick. Can you sit down, please? It's, watching me. it's not watching you. It is, it's that right that bug on went to McDonald's already. It's not I even worried about you no more. Sit, but you it's can't. <laughs> um, I do want to write a book, but I do want my books to turn into series, like like that story I just told you, right? That's a that's a day. Right. That's a that's an episode. That day is an episode, and I feel like I just got like ten seasons of just stories. Like you know, I'm about to come up with my twenty years, and I'm about to retire. You know, saying out the army, twenty years, okay. right? <clears throat> and um, I'm gonna tell you what a big part of my army career was that hawaii that that little hawaii run and when i met y'all niggas say, oh like, my god just, just hawaii alone nigga that's four seasons you know what i'm saying <laughs> like once i got with y'all and i started knowing everybody on that island oh lord jesus this girl, don't don't mess up the camera oh that's all right but you know what I'm saying, like that that's what I'm trying to do. I do want to write a book though, but I do want the book to turn into uh you know I gotta do is get up with me, man. Give me all the details, you know what I'm saying? We'll we'll go from there. I do and everything is done in house, like from the cover to the tech, all of that I do. But on some real shit though, I'm about to start traveling a lot pretty soon. And I just come out there, nigga. So like I got, a, I, I, got, mm -hmm. I got a couple ideas, man, that'll make that a whole lot easier. What you, what you, okay, you gotta hit me. We got well, okay, we got the numbers now, nigga. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we got the numbers man. now. We, we don't let everybody, you know, know our moves and shit. They gonna be jocking our shit. Um, right. <laughs> but people talk about us like they talking about Nick Cannon and yeah, and ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> the, both of these niggas was in love. They still talking about the girl that broke their heart. Man, nigga, shut up. Nah, but <clears throat> hey, man, I love you. I'm glad that we reconnected. I'm glad that you even jumped on that page and said, "Yo, I fucking, I, I mean, I, I'll fucking, you know, saying calling or whatever," um, because Hawaii was just, <laughs> woo, like man, it was just crazy stories. I got, I got, I got a project coming out, man, called mm -hmm. um, Home, but it's not spelled H O M E. It's spelled H O A M, and what it is is an acronym for um, a Heart of a Monster. Oh really? So of, okay. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you know, a lot of the you know Hawaii. I've been I've lived even though I've you know not from Hawaii or whatever. I've spent yeah, more yeah. time consecutive in Hawaii than I spent anywhere. So yeah, yeah. a lot of that journey is you know those stories come from Hawaii. So mm -hmm. you know, yeah, Hawaii opened my eyes, nigga. <clears throat> ain't, ain't gonna, ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> yeah, but we gonna link up, bro. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You know, <clears throat> No, nah, we gonna link up, man. Um, we gonna definitely go. We we gonna stay connected more. Me and Justin still talk a lot. I know Q. I think he. I, don't, I think Q be in and out of jail and shit. I don't know what the fuck that nigga be doing. Um, but me and Justin still talk to this day. 
he be sending me um I know he uh went back to the States, you know, married okay. old girl and everything. Me and Tony talk every now and then. Um I'm just kinda cold. But that's one of the people I'll fuck with that in that barbershop anyway. Daddy. Um, but hey man. <clears throat> I love you to death, man, but we gotta definitely link up and do some business, man. I think we got uh we got the same mind frame on on things that we wanna do in the future, especially I'm about to retire in a year. And uh, that's that, that's like stuff I just wanna just get into it full time. You know what I'm saying? So Indeed, my nigga always, but you know what's up. All right, man. Stay safe out there in them Cali Streets, cuz. Hey, I was, bro. All right, bro. Yeah, later. Yep. That was pretty good. Man, reminisce with my nigga. Can you sit down, please? It's not. I, I okay. I promise. I promise you. I promise you. I will tell you. I pro, I'm. I'm telling you right now. I don't lie. I'll tell you if it come back up. But that thing been gone. I hope you stomp your pinky toe on the dead post later. Well, I'm not gonna tell you then if it come back. There. It's not gonna come back. It's not gonna come back. I promise you. No, I was gonna tell you. I just wanted to get through that one part of the story. So what's the what's the topic? I just told you Dollar Tree is now Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Oh yeah, that yeah, you know Dollar Tree, everybody going up. Yeah. A haircut is down there fifty dollars though. I ain't talking about. I don't <clears throat> you asking me? No, I'm just saying like how everything is going but you up. You asked me earlier about the barbershop. Oh yeah. Frequent. I don't really frequent barbershops like that. I don't really know what y'all mm. be doing. It be top secret. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It really don't. don't. No, you you'll fit in. You like they be whispering and stuff. No, you'll fit in though. You'll fit in. Why? Cause you think outside the box. Like you don't think like most uh like like most women. I gotta call one person. Let's see what's going on with him. Are they an exterminator? Hmm? Are they an exterminator? No. They got an exterminator friend? No. How do you know what they well, Horror, they're not even here. Um, Goose. Uh, what's going on? What's up, my guy? Nah, what's um, up, man? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. What's up, man? How you been? No, nah, man, I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been good, my dude. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Cali right now. Oh, you in Cali? Damn, everybody in Cali. Yeah, bro, the doing. A, uh, I'm, I'm here on TDY. I'm yeah, here I got like you. Are you doing like a like an NTC type shit or? Yeah, like man, like a, like a, a joint. Uh, with, with Navy and Marines and shit. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Well, shit, man. Yeah. What you got, man? How you been? Uh, were you in and out the show tonight, or you don't see know what we're talking about? Um, I was, I was, I was listening to the first topic, mm -hmm. and the missus me up, so I got, I had got off. But, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, so like, yeah, I, I mean, like, I like just, I was just, li I listened to like the first few minutes of it, and then, mm -hmm. and then I got out. So I don't know, I don't know what, what topics you got right now. So, I got you. I feel you, man. Um, we just went through uh, two topics, really. How you feel about ASAP impregnating Riri? And how you think Drake feel about it? Drake can't. Ki First of all, Drake can't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> because all the females that he's done smashed, bro, this, this dude had a different female like every damn month. Mm -hmm. that's, his, that's his own fault. We was yeah she we was talking about that, you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. like yo ASAP did her right, you know what I'm saying and you know and you know and and, and I take some experience because I've been with I've been with like island women like I've been with Jamaicans mm -hmm. and Canadians mm -hmm. and <clears throat> them, them mm -hmm. women bro they're like really loyal yeah. despite you know what I'm saying you treat them right they're gonna treat you right and and Rihanna seems like that type of girl so you know what I'm saying? so me. Me and my co-host, the ghost, she, we was just saying that, like, you know, on, 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 in the public eye on TV, Drake just seemed like this wholesome guy from, from, yeah, yeah, from, from Canada, but behind, see, this nigga ain't okay. shit. <laughs> nah, nah. Yo, yeah. Drake, yeah. Drake, and, and I'm gonna, yeah. and I'm gonna say, who's your co-host? Uh, we call her the ghost. The ghost, oh, well, okay, well, the ghost, the ghost is a fucking genius, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this. Drake, Drake, Drake is the man. Music, yeah. that dude. I, I'm a big Drake fan. The, the man, music, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a genius. But, but, bro, that dude. I, I, I gotta say it though. He's a dog. He's the dude's been with so much. 
he's he's pl- he's been with so much different women, mm-hmm. bro. From Serena, Rihanna, um, yeah, yeah. Tarazi, bro. I, I can name a list. Yeah. Bro, like, out. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he, he he can't say shit. Yeah. He he had his chance. He he didn't want to stick with it. So hey, <clears throat> yo. No no no. But 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 you know what though? That's, business, bro. that's all it is. That's I, all. That's all it goes. I think he wanted to stick with that one. I think he just went too hard for her. And you How? know, you know, but hold on, hold on now. Hold on. Come on, what you talking about? He, he, he admitted his love for her on stage, on national TV. He got songs with her. Like, he always admitted the love for her, for, for Rihanna. But you know what, though? You know how most women are, though. The nigga that start chasing them the most and all that, they treat them like shit. Like shit. He like, us. He was. Bro, the nigga was there. Uh, he, he was there there begging bro, for her. He was there there begging yeah, for her. Rocky? ASAP Rocky put in mad overtime to get Rihanna. No, I don't think he put in overtime. I just think he kind of like uh, treated like a regular ass chick. And that's what they like, though. Hey, hey, but look, okay, mm-hmm. ask your co host. Ask your co host. Sometimes, okay, sometimes it's the simple things. The, yeah, the yeah. Simple, simple things is what matters. It has more of an impact than the extra shit. And I'm, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not knocking that. I'm not knocking that. I think ASAP Rocky. I think person that we was talking about that. She said that his personality got to be a fucking one for one. You know, it's, the dick gang got to be something. I met ASAP in person. He seemed like a really he he seemed like a real cool ass dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like like you know and, you know and um you know he, I mean he he thinks differently. Number one, first of all, the dude is from New York. He don't rap like somebody from New York. That's number one. That's it. That is number one. That's why I. Was a fan of him in the first place. I thought he was from down here, you know. Yeah, the, the, the dude yeah. from Harlem, dog. Yeah, but he, you know what I'm saying, but he's influenced by southern by southern rap mm-hmm. artists. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like he he mentions all the time. He's influenced by he, he's influenced by like people like UGK. Yeah, he's influenced yeah. by mm-hmm. Scarface, Especially Texas. You know but his mm-hmm. his his his, his <clears throat> method is differently. I'm not saying you know what I'm saying, I'm, but the the dude the dude. I mean the dude just. I mean, the dude's a, is a cool dude. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 ASAP did this, did what he's mm-hmm. supposed to do, and he got her. Hey, you right. That's how the game, that's how the game goes. <clears throat> and I, and I see Drake thinking he's well. Drake is bigger than what he is, but it doesn't matter. But I see Drake like I'm Drake, You're right? Like, yeah. You know. But Drake was, was probably like on stage talking about kissing her and had three girls. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And that's what he's saying. He, right, I'm that's what he's saying. Like I'm Rihanna, I love you, but he got four girls in the back. She, she know it, like. Like, you don't want to be played. I th- yeah, I just see, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Drake, let's say Drake be having a different female every month, bro. And, and yeah. that's his own fault. Drake's cool. No, Drake is cool. But, <laughs> but, cool. but, I, but I take him for what he is. No, no, I got I, I know. I trust me. I know exactly He's a lady's who he is. Man, bro. I know exactly who he is. Aubrey is a hoe. Uh, no, Drake is the hoe. Aubrey is cool. Aubrey loves his mama. Oh yeah, 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 that's the. St- Aubrey is the hoe. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I know. I yeah. That, uh, Drake is definitely my alter ego. He's definitely my, like my. Uh, nah, so that's that's your alter ego. Yes. Oh. You can't have it. I, okay. <clears throat> she okay. took it back. She she just snatched from. Can I ain't tell her the ropes was, was up there? I I know. I like. I I understand Drake. That's what I'm saying. I, that's what I'm saying. I just understand a Drake. And you and you've been around me. I understand him too. Mm-hmm. I understand him too. Yeah, yeah. But and that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, bro, he, he can't be mad. Yeah, he yeah, we know because we know. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, I think I know what you're doing out here. <laughs> he, had a, bro, he had a chance with all these chicks. He had a chance. Mm. He could have been with Serena. But yes. But Serena, Serena. Got, her, got married herself to some rich white dude. Mm-hmm. She had, he had a chance with Taraji. And fucking Taraji. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, he he wasn't he was playing games with her too. Like bro, he, he all these all these top notch chicks that top dudes notch. are in love with, he had his chance with them. And you know what's funny, man? They never said nothing bad about Drake, man. They never came out saying nothing bad about Drake. But that I nigga mean, Drake will put it, a voicemail in a fucking song, nigga, in a heartbeat, nigga. That's me. I mean, he, 
bad, he's not a bad dude. He just he just a dude that he was he okay. I'm trying. He's like um Derek Jeter, like Derek Jeter yes. for a long time. There you Derek go. Jeter was dating a chick every every mm-hmm. time. But he's Derek Jeter time. though. He's the fucking king of baseball and fucking all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? But he them, was, like he behind was, the scenes, like this nigga. Ain't- married to some chick mm-hmm. whatever and he's and he's happy but drake is not there yet so yeah it's, but it's rihanna sad. was the one that broke his heart though but you know something magical about drake have you seen the movie good luck chuck where everyone he, he the man mm-hmm. every time a woman sleep with him he, that's drake notice every single one they blow up yeah or they find they love they find they love yeah yeah oh that's what you mean yeah yeah, yeah you're right you're right <laughs> Maybe I can shut up. <laughs> shit, I got, I got, yeah, well, Drake, I'm gonna fuck with you because I got a real nigga coming my way. You, you about to set me up for the alley you. Hey, but hey, but see, um, that's a good point she just made though. Yeah, it, it is a good point. You know, you right. Mm-hmm. So, second topic, right? <clears throat> you been following Nick Cannon? And, and what he do? Oh, oh yeah, about the whole, about him um getting chick pregnant. Yeah, yeah. So okay. All right, so he announced the the birth of the new child, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And he's getting a lot of hate because you know he just lost a child to brain to a brain cancer, basically. Oh yeah, and that was a horrible. And that was a, mm-hmm. I mean, and I wouldn't wish that on nobody. No, nah, I don't wish that on nobody. But do you? So on his show, he announced the new baby, but he also, but you know, throughout the month, he's been saying that I lost a child. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? But. He's getting a lot of hate because he announced that he having a new child, and they they saying that he's so basically he's, he's he just getting hated on for announcing a new child because he just lost a child a month ago towards the baby mother. You know what I'm saying? Like the baby mother might not had grieved it. What? Like, do you think like it's two questions I want to ask you? Do you think that him announcing the new child was wrong? You know, and second, do you think what he's doing out here is just wrong? Period. Cause I don't think what he's doing is wrong. I think everything is. I'm saying I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm be straight I'm gonna go straight to straight to the juggler. Mm-hmm. People are fucking stupid, bro. Like let's be like let's be. We gotta appreciate that comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, on, say it one more time. Say bro, it one more time. Yo, first of all, first of all, I I I I applaud the guy for even putting it out there that he had a baby with having that problem because most people are not gonna announce that. Mm-hmm. And then he dealt that. And then he, and then he got, you know, what I'm saying he's having another baby. So he, um, you know, you know that whole thing about religious thing. You know, you you lose a life and gain a life. So yeah. he's having another baby coming into this world. What's wrong with him announcing that? Yeah, what yeah. is the problem? Mm-hmm. There's nothing. It's wrong nothing with that. wrong because I and think I, I think the women that's attacking him are the one that got the five baby daddies. Then they ain't taking none of the kids. Are, bro, those are the women. Those are the women that 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 got dudes they ain't, and they ain't involved. Yeah. They, they don't have their baby daddy ain't around. That's what it is. Yeah. They can't and they can't get child support because he ain't got no damn job. And, and you know what, man? Like we we all like we all around the same age around here, right? And we know women. It might be our friends. It might be like this woman that we know throughout our career. Um, they make agreement with people because they getting so up in age. You know, saying that they just want the baby. Like, hey, man, just just give me the sperm, nigga. I don't want you. I don't. I don't you know, what I'm saying like, but I just want a child. You know what I'm saying? For my 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 clock runs out, boom, boom, boom. He could be having those type of, you know, agreement with those women. And of course, him being Nick Cannon, he's gonna take care of them. I mean, I would do that. You know what I'm saying? If I had could I got the money to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I think people just always um dig into everything too deeply. You know what I'm saying? And that's why like the 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 last topic that I have is: do, do we ever think that polygamy is going to be something that's going to be legal in America? It has to be legal in America at some point. And the only reason why I say that, I just think it should be an option. I'm not saying that everybody should do it. I'm saying it should be an option because look, look, look what Nick Cannon doing. They got like seven baby mamas, right? It's slowly for, but surely it's going to become a norm. Hey, if you could take care of these women now that's that's see that's the underlining though if you could take care of these women and these kids no no it's not just about me okay let's take that back let's take let's take everything oh, let's take it, everything it, back it, let's take it back it's not just about it's not just, not just men just, women just, too just you can have out. multiple women i mean you can have uh multiple husbands trust me i had a homegirl hit me up like yeah i need three husbands right now 
<laughs> I need one to work. One, one fix the car. She ain't even talking about no sex shit. Yeah, I know, you, I know, I know. When you, know. When you done, when you finish, when you, I'm gonna I'm 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 bring you a story in relation. Yeah, yeah. So now, and it goes back to the brat, the brat having a baby with his. It's like I don't have nothing against anybody's sexual orientation. I mean, but the brat, the brat. Mm -hmm. with her, with her. Um. Oh, I thought you said he. Is. I was like the brat. Oh no no no! But you know, brat fucked with Ella Iverson for years. They was about to get married and all type of shit. But the brat beat up a bitch for Ella Iverson. But she go both ways. But anyway. Yeah. We, yeah. Right. But but what I'm, what I'm saying is, I don't understand. She, she been yeah, functified yeah. She been since day one. She go been functified. <laughs> oh, but this is what I'm saying, though. Eventually, we got every sexual orientation being um, approved and recognized in the justice system. Nigga, you can marry, you can marry your dog today. That shit... That's Bro, crazy. Oh Bro, we can talk about that for an hour. Yeah, that, that's a whole other hour. And I, and I just want to touch on it. And it could, huh? You could marry, yeah. You could you could marry like your pet, or you can marry yourself, nigga. You can marry same sex. You can marry your pet. You can marry yourself. Boom, boom. But when it comes to like that polygamy shit, oh my God, niggas, they, they just only know. That's, like, what are you talking about? That's a yeah, but they do it the corny way. They do it the Norman, the Mormon way. I'm sorry, I said the Norman, the Mormon way. We ain't talking about that. What's the Mormon way? The Mormon way is like, of course he's he's like um, they like they don't work or nothing. They just fucking just sit in the house and just wait on this nigga. <laughs> Are they all married, or is it one is a wife and the other one? Is so you got the first wife. They all married, but you got the first wife, and you got a second wife, you know, like that. Cause they're Mormon, so I think Mormon and Muslim, they deal with it. Look, I'm just saying it should be an option. That's all I'm saying. But what you about to say though, Guzman? What you about it? What you about to say? No, I'm, I'm saying like, um, there's a football player, mm -hmm. um, for the NFL. His name was Antonio. His name is Antonio Camardi, elite, mm -hmm. an elite player for a lot of years. This dude had has nine kids mm -hmm. with eight different baby mamas. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and and his 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 thought process is similar to Nick Cannon's. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because he he he, he want to have as much kids as he can because mm -hmm. you know because he he didn't you know but his thing was a little different. I don't yeah. know what what Nick Cannon's motivation is, but his thing is his dad abandoned him at an early age. You know, so mm -hmm. he's had that mentality. You know what? You know, I'm gonna have all these kids, but I'm gonna be there for them. And and, and to his credit, he's. He so he takes care of all his kids and all his baby mamas. Mm -hmm. He takes care of all of them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All of them accumulate from the NFL and other sponsors. Because he was an elite player for a long time, mm -hmm. so he's making money and he's taking care of all his kids. But that's his thing. He his thing is to have. I don't know if he's had more kids. I haven't seen anything on the on no um. I haven't seen nothing on no on no TMZ or or Shade Room, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But I know for a fact he has nine kids. But and but he's taking care of them. He probably take care of the baby mother. Up, but I, I think you still got to have the money to do this shit, though. You still got to have like the money to do this shit. Doing. So yeah. I don't think I don't think nobody has any right to blast <clears throat> Nick Cannon no. because Nick Cannon is handling mm. business. Yes, yeah. okay. He's like he's got all these different all these kids and all this stuff and all. But hey, but as long as 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 long as those kids know who their daddy is, mm -hmm. nobody can say shit to him. He's handling business. Now yes. he's not. He wasn't involved in those kids' lives, and and the mother was struggling. Okay, yeah. okay. Hey, he deserves the full th the full slam. Mm -hmm. But the man is there. He's taking care of his kids. Yeah. So that's not nobody's business. That's not your business. Not my business. Not your co-host's business. Nobody's business. Mm -hmm. He's taking he's taking care of his kids. So he's doing this thing as a man. I got nothing to say about it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's facts. I could do a strong three though. Three, they, they're you know everybody. Working, saving money, like everybody's paying their part. But at the end of the day, I think it should just be an option. That's all. This an option. Okay. Yeah. And I but think hey, that I think the word cheating the wouldn't day, exist that much. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. At the end, ain't nothing gonna happen uh, unless we got litigation, right? Like, mm -hmm. just you know what I'm saying, like, no matter what, like it's, it, you know, things like things like that can be agreed upon, but it's not gonna be enforced. In school. Nah, nah. You know. It's in the books. It's in the books, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's facts. That is facts. Yeah. But hey, man, 
Thanks for calling in. When you, know. when you, I mean, I know you're in Cali right now, but um, when you when you coming back officially to the state, you you know, like with your time up in Alaska. Um, um, oh no, I'm not even I'm not even Alaska no more. I'm already um, I'm in I'm I'm right now I'm stationed at Fort Carson, Colorado. Oh, that's right. Bam, damn. We talked about that last time. <laughs> yeah, bro, I got that, there. That's my fault. No disrespect. That's, that's my fault. Like, mm. who's you want to you stay in California, dog? I'm like shit. Yeah, yeah. That's my that's my fault. That's my fault. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's the same cli- same kind of climate. Is it negative degrees over there right now? So, mm-hmm. but, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, um, Colorado right now, man. Like that, yeah, you just doing a little training and shit like that. That nigga said, "I'm about to go to Russia." That's fine. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's what, they, that's what they. Everybody's gearing up for that shit. I think I'm just trying to retire. I was like, "Oh, nigga, Russia want to do this shit." Hey, you, you, you um you 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 should be on the home stretch right now, right? Yeah, but they'll they'll stop that packet though. They'll stop that packet. <laughs> if Reno's in, like, oh nigga, you gonna get me to Russia? Really, nigga, Russia? Mm. I'm saying this out of jealousy. We gonna start taking shots every time you say retirement. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't yes, wait to retire because because then you can really um dedicate your time to this podcast. Yeah, man. I know. Uh, Cause, cause podcast, this, uh, podcast, 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 acting. Podcast, um, be, this podcast mm-hmm. is, is a. You're doing a good thing with this podcast, man. This podcast oh, thank is you, gonna, bro. It's thank you, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I give it a few. I give it three to five years. This podcast is gonna be a. It's gonna be a good thing. Oh shit! Thanks, bro. Cause you know you, man. You always been. You always been in this corner ever since you got on. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just do what I do, man. Just be me, man. We work together and everything. I'm the same person at work. When I jump on this podcast, I'm the same goddamn person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, the city bear. That's mm-hmm. some, that's something that's not. That's something that's not common these days, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, and you, you know, you know my brother and shit. Like, you know, so you you know how we we get down. Yeah, bro. And, of course. Um, so you know, I, I love y'all, man. No, nah, man, man, I love you too, my nigga, man. I just, I just shit. We we got to get you over. I, I wish you would have came on the show to you before you left. You know, what I'm saying with Alaska, though, I really do wish you would have came up up here though. But it's all good, bro. I'm, I'll be on. I'll be on that show. I'll be on that show live one day, cutting up. Yeah, yeah. We gonna make it. Oh no, we we gonna bring you on with this big. I'm like, hey, everybody want to know who Guzman is? Here he comes. <laughs> He's gonna come out the bat. You gonna come out the bat like, yeah, that's the number one fan right there. Nah, yeah, bro. <laughs> nah, but man, um, he, I'm, I'm feeling, bro. Yeah, he said uh, goodbye, ghost. Oh, but I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, she's still looking for that damn bug. It, I'm a, yeah, it's not you, it's them. Hey, that that bug been going. That bug gonna hopped in my car and left. I wish it would have. <laughs> All right, Guzman, man. Hey, man, I hit you up uh, throughout the weekend, man, to check on you hey, outside. Hey, of, you don't say outside of this, though. Hey, continue success. Keep doing your thing. All right, man. All right, man. Love you, bro, my nigga. Thanks. All right, bro. Holla at you. Yep. Yo. Hmm. The bug ain't coming back. You know that, right? Hmm? Oh, the topic? Oh, it's two of them? I mean, you got to think about this. Oh, be quiet. All right, man. Look. <clears throat> hey, man. Thanks, for everybody, joining in. Now, before I get off, anybody want to wanna call, you better um tell me now before I close this bitch down. But, shit, thank, thanks for everybody coming in. Everybody jumped on today. Everybody jumped on tonight. Hey, man, shout out to DJ VI, man. He was out there slinging that mill throughout the night. Yeah. Home, home man. man. Even though they go away. Working so hard. I hope you win a better place. Making millions. And I hope to see you soon someday. Don't forget us. I used to hang with my boy. I used to slay with my. Nah, no, I ain't gonna go through that whole verse. That's not. Yeah. That's not. Go, she got something to say before we close this thing out. It's a dollar. The dollar tree is not a dollar twenty-five tree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the ghost go to the dollar tree and grab a buggy. She be really the shopping. We get the hand basket thing. That's a yeah. You yeah. Mm-mm. But hey, man, do you be you stay you man. We catch y'all next week. Thanks for everybody joining in. We'll holler at y'all.